Hi, I'm Matthew Heinsen. I'm a composer, but I'm also the director of the Australian Composer School. Uh, this is the second year I've been doing this. It's a two-year program. And uh, so the composers all came last year and, and wrote two works and had those works workshopped by the orchestra. And they've come back for a second year, putting into place what they've learned from the first year, which is really exciting, actually. What a novel concept to actually be able to put in practice something you've learned in, in such a tremendous training opportunity as this is for young composers. They've written completely different pieces this year to what they wrote last year. And it's a, a very intense process because you have a set amount of time with the orchestra and you have to be completely on your game and ready to make changes and, and assess what's going on in the music at any moment. It's, it's, it's super intense, um, but that's the best way to learn. That's why this program is so important for composers in Australia and internationally, because it's really through getting your pieces, your compositions played by orchestras of this standard in which you learn the most. You learn what to do and what not to do. So I think we just need to do that once to see if it works. We tried it between us and it worked well. The four composers were selected through a competitive process and there are about 45 entries actually. So these four were really the best and uh, we we're very pleased that these four put in applications because I think they have some of the strongest individual voices of emerging composers throughout the country and that's something that as a composer you need to have throughout your career. And if you don't have it by this stage now, then perhaps you might not be in such a strong position in the future. So that was a really, what sort of voice did they have? What sort of, um, they have to have strong technique, they have to be able to write for orchestra, which is actually extremely difficult. But they also have to have something to say as well. And uh, I think each of these composers does have something to say. And they're also very different. They're also very different in their approaches to their comp composing and also what they want to say which is, I think, representative in some ways of, of Australian society. We're all, uh, there's so many different people with different thoughts and different approaches to things, and we're not all the same. And so I'm really pleased that each of these four composers has a strong individual characteristic in their music. One very unique thing about this year's program is that the composers are writing concertino movements, so movements for soloists with the orchestra. And why we wanted them to do that is because this, this program here, the Australian Composer School, is really a stepping stone to, the, to becoming a professional recognised composer in the orchestral sector. And one of the first things that you're typically asked to do as a composer is to write a concerto. So this training opportunity is going to be really important for these composers because they've written a concerto now. So when they go to the next one, it's going to be better still. I'm really pleased with the standard of these four pieces this year. They've really, I mean, I honestly believe that each of these pieces could be programmed in a, in a standard orchestral concert and they go down really well, actually. The, the standard of composition is really high. Um, and I think these four composers are each voices to watch in Australian music in the future.